Okay, video rundown on the American DJ on tour ice. This unit is all self-contained in its own road case, which is handy. So you'll want to undo all four clips on each side and remove the top. Once the top is removed, you'll see the unit here. It's the front side with the output hole the rear with the controls. This lid is locked down and there's a piece of weather stripping inside of it. So you'll want to, once you put the dry ice in, make sure that you lock these down. This is the dry ice basket, holds up to 26 pounds of dry ice. I typically think maybe 15 to 20 pounds is plenty to account for sublimation throughout the day. I would buy this ice in 15 or 20 pound blocks from Crest or Homeland and transport it in your own cooler or a styrofoam cooler that you can buy day of. Leave the dry ice in the cooler until you are ready for the first dance. A couple of things before operation. The first thing you'll want to do is ensure that this blue valve is in the shut position, meaning it is downwards and not horizontal. So we want to go perpendicular to the output nozzle. This is your drain nozzle that you will drain at the end of the cycle of use, and I will explain that in a little bit more detail. So make sure the valve is shut. The next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and put approximately eight gallons. Just pour it right into this reservoir here. It will drain down through this valve into a holding tank underneath uh, inside the unit. So all the water will be stored and contained and heated right down here. When you're ready for the effect and you press the button that we'll explain here in a second, it will push the water through this water pump out here so that it mixes with the dry ice. After you've gotten the water filled up, there's a little water gauge right here on the front that says lowest to highest. I usually just make sure that I've put approximately eight gallons in. If I'm filling it with a pitcher, make sure that I understand how many pitchers it takes for eight gallons. Occasionally this float valve works, occasionally it does not. This is a common problem with the on tour ices. Uh, but if you start pouring water in and this is not going up, obviously this is only indicating the lowest and highest water level. So the float valve will occasionally work in there, if you see it right there. That's approximately the water level inside the unit. So it could use a little bit more water in here, but should be plenty for your one-time use for a first dance. Next thing we'll do is go ahead and indicate the power here. You have a main power on the left, auxiliary power on the right. This is to speed up warm-up time. If you use just one circuit in the main power, approximately 45 minutes to an hour to heat up to eight gallons of water to the proper temperature of operation. If you would like to speed up that uh, heat up process, you can use a separate circuit, not the same circuit, grab a secondary power con cable and plug it into an, a completely separate circuit right here. This will power up uh, and warm that water twice as fast. So we'll take our power con here, you insert it to where the tabs line up all the way in and then rotate it clockwise, it will lock in position. When you are ready to remove the power con, pull it back on this top tab, rotate counterclockwise and it will pull out. Do not force this. Once you have that connected, we're gonna plug the other end into an outlet in the wall. This does pull quite a bit of power, so you need to make sure you don't have uh, too many items on one circuit. I typically tend to stay away from the same circuit as my DJ or audio system so that I do not trip that breaker. But right here it tells you what the preset temperature is as well as the current water temperature here in Celsius. Once powered up, I go ahead and just shut this lid. Again, I don't put the dry ice in until maybe 10 minutes before at max uh, before we're going to do the first dance. Just keep it in the cooler until you are ready. This eliminates any more sublimation because inside it's going to start going ahead and warming up and causing that dry ice to create the effect just a little bit. So 
just to eliminate any like slow spill. I don't put the ice in there. Like I said, it's gonna take approximately 45 minutes or so to warm up, 45 minutes to an hour. You do have DMX capability, three pin in and out, as well as five pin in and out, depending on what it is you're using. Or you can trigger this manually by pressing the smoke on and off button. This is the manual operation. Just press it once. We'll start the water pump. Press that button again to stop. Simple operation if you were using it manually. That is the process. The water will automatically drain back into the reservoir to continue to heat. But I would just let this puppy run throughout the duration that you want. It will take it a little bit to cause the effect. It's going to build up pressure in here with this rubber gasket and force the smoke out of this flap right here and start to spill out through the front. I would recommend using the hose. It goes ahead and brings that uh, fog down to the ground level instead of letting it cascade down through here. Pretty simple operation. You've just got a standard like dryer hose with a gasket, with a wing nut tightener. So you just gently guide this all the way flush onto the unit as far up as you can go. You may need to be loosened just a little bit to get it snug. And then tighten that wing nut down a second can for me. The other side here is just fine. Extend this hose to the length that you need it. If it is a little cockeyed, you can loosen and adjust the. That's typically what I do. Maybe hide this kind of under a table if you can, or use your discretion. Uh, but get that as close to the dance floor as you can there. If the water level is too low, it will tell you the water level is too low here on the display. The effect will take it just a little bit to build the pressure up, obviously, to get through the tube. Do not worry. Do not be alarmed. Just start a little bit earlier than when you need it, and it eventually will fill up and create the effect that you want. You can adjust this temperature here as well as the volume, your DMX address, the DMX mode. This is a one, two, four, and six channel option. I will also send you a copy of the manual in case you need it. You can adjust these manuals or these uh, presets here as well as the preset temperature. You can adjust between 65 degrees, 70, 75, and 80 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the water will react with the temperature of the floor, causing the effect to either get higher or lower to the ground. This can be played with, I could not tell you what the actual uh, sweet spot is, if you will. So I usually leave it just on 75 or 80 all the way up and just let it go. Once you are done with the effect, like I said, press that button, it will turn off uh, the effect and eventually quit spilling out smoke. At that point, just let the unit cool down. When I'm ready to power it off, I go ahead and pull this back and unplug it. There is no power switch. So when you plug this in, that is basically how to turn it on and off right there. Once you're finished, I go ahead and unplug it and power it down so that water can begin to cool throughout the remainder of the evening. And I'll go ahead and remove the basket and dump any leftover dry ice outside, obviously away from where maybe little children or other people could touch it because I don't want anyone to get injured while they are out of sight, out of mind. This basket only goes in one way. These uh, guide posts on the sides are different widths, so you will know if you have it correctly or incorrectly. Also, if you see, this has a little notch cut out for the arm for the door. So it's a one-way operation. It just sits right there. Then you'll want to wheel this outside at the end of the night and take this valve and open it towards you. You may need to get something like small to pry it in there uh, right between the wall and the uh, flow valve 
opener. We go ahead and open that out in the grass. This will be hot. Uh, so just a heads up, do not burn yourself. Let it drain all the way out. And then I usually just leave that valve open when I'm finished and I remember to shut it before I fill it back up. Refer to the beginning of the video when uh, I told you to check that.